Gato. So um, after each day passes, after every every session or day, um, I would feel like the first three days I was still kind of getting the feel of it. I was still feeling. I mean, I still had my. I was still kind of confused. The first three days. But um, <clears throat> after the fourth day, I started getting it. Like, I knew why I had an idea. I mean, I knew why I was depressed, why I was anxious, and why this is happen- happening to me, and why that is happening to me. But basically, the fourth day, I, I felt like I was better. I was slowly gaining my confidence back. It was always different. It wasn't always just physical there were like um, sensitivity exercises um, where they had to blindfold me Um, apart from I remember they would always also put me in situations where all my issues come out all my fears came out, my frustrations. and You know, when you know that this is what your day is going to be like, that you have to deal with yourself and your issues and your problems, it's, it, it's not, it, it doesn't feel so good. It makes you nervous. So every day was always something, something nerve-wracking. But it was also fulfilling to be able to finish it, finish the task, complete the exercise, and then the next day, what would happen? <laughs> like, it, was, it was a vicious cycle. So uh, basically, my takeaway from those was just to, to deal with it and to manage it and to let it pass. Okay, the Kokoro program is focused on four areas. Um, this is the mind the body and the soul so the mind four areas because the mind has like two branches it's the subconscious mind and the intellectual mind and um, they teach you how to also balance these things because in the Japanese Chinese traditional way of how they train this is how they train that I think a, a whole individual you know is a balance of all these of these four so um, yeah with um, with the body of course you you exercise you you do things that is good for your body you feed your body right you eat right and I was also put in a specific diet when I was here and oh with the mind the subconscious our exercises would be mostly blindfolded it was always it was probably to shut down everything and to just um, work on gut feeling and um, the first impulse you know because when you think when you're not um, loaded with all these informations it's that feeling it's that first impulse is what you think is right for you or is the right thing and um, the intellectual area would be the discussions I think Um, the informations that they feed you um, the exercises that was that and then the soul um, would be the reward because you can't always be 
like putting yourself in uncomfortable situations, right? Um, you can't be training and not um, having fun. It has to be a balance. So the soul was the balance from all the body, mind exercises. So uh, the accommodations is that um, you are, you and your coach are stuck, <laughs> are in one place. It is a very homey place. Um, it's like, it's like camp. <laughs> I think for me, I call it camp because, you know, I trained here and um, yeah, it's very homey. You have um, people who take care of you, people who tend to your needs, your basic needs. Uh, food is provided. Um, there are uh, there's hot and cold shower with good water pressure. And um, Pa Umar, uh, he's uh, one of the caretakers of the place, of the camp. <laughs> uh, yeah, he will help you with everything. So it's basically just you're in your home but in a different country. So I'm here now and this is like nine months after the program, I think, more or less. Um, right after I got home, uh, after right after the program, when I got home, my, my family and my friends noticed a lot of change. Like it was, um, it was a paradigm shift. What happened in two weeks, thinking about it now for me like, it felt impossible because how much transformation can you do in two weeks right it's just a short amount of time but of course because we had we had to change our habits we had to change um, our ways and it was a completely different lifestyle from the one from pre-program, so my mindset, uh, my mindset changed. Um, I suddenly had rituals. Um, I was more aware of things. So, yeah, because that changed. Basically, I changed. My life changed. My how 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 I viewed things changed. So my environment changed. I noticed with me before, I was always angry, I was very aggressive, like this is something that really gets the best of me, I, I had no, I had zero control of it before, but now I think I'm better and I'm aware at, at, at catching it. So, I have better relationships with people. Um, I'm not as temperamental. And uh, with my depression and anxiety, it's basically gone. <laughs> um, it's like it never happened. So, yeah, I feel, I feel good. I feel great. And um, I, I don't think that I will ever fall back into the state where I was really at my lowest because I was given to lose. I, I know what I'm capable of. I was trained to, to you know, to, to work on, on, on those emotions and feelings. So yeah, but um, I guess fear and anger and frustrations, all those basic emotion stuff are still there, but I am able to manage it and yeah, life is a constant battle of being able to manage those. So, so at first, my, my teacher was um, an internet ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> it was ignorant and oblivious about the social media and the whole internet world. And, you know, um, 
after I did the program, I was telling him, and I, if I remember talking to Sam, that you know, if this helped me, if this worked for me, how much more other people, you know, and because we are humans and we were born to face issues and to suffer. Some just deal with it better than others. Um, yeah, so if it was able to help me get over my mental issues, I convinced, we convinced our, our coach to, you know, to to join this um, chaotic world of <laughs> social media and uh, yeah I'm just actually here to to let you guys know that if you are dealing with um, depression or anxiety PTSD or whatever that mental issue is there is hope